Hi guys, Achi Luxury on the Achi Luxury channel. Guys, today, actually this is, I'll make this for the Paul Pluto channel. Uh, today's video, today's video is going to be the awful truth. Uh, awful truth. Stop, spend to be a Rolex, uh, a Rolex preferential customer, okay? Okay, now guys, I gotta tell you, I, in, in my line of work, which is a YouTube celebrity, <coughs> I'm able to liaise with <coughs> many different people from all walk, walks of life. And <clears throat> I have a few customers who have a good relationship with ADs, authorized dealers. I've got a few people I know quite well. Um, I've got two super collectors. There's a guy I know in Brisbane. I've got a mate in Sydney. And I've been able to look and see how do you establish a relationship, the awful truth of becoming a Rolex AD preferential customer. And you're not going to like what I'm going to tell you. You're not going to like it. And the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of people are delusional morons out there. They think they can buy a few, they think they can buy a few Tudors, Tudor Black Bays, uh, maybe an Omega. They think they can buy a little bit of stuff and then they will get Steel Sports Rolex. <clears throat> and the big problem is, the reason I'm making this video is there are no official rules. If there were official rules, you would know where you stand. It's all kind of fuzzy wuzzy. And to complicate the mix, there are people who could just walk into an AD for whatever reason and pick up their dream Rolex steel sports watch. That does occasionally happen, just like when the lottery is drawn, there are people who occasionally, occasionally win. Okay, it's not a, it is, it is, there are winners occasionally. Now, the problem is, it's something to do with the odds. The odds of winning are, how do I put this, incredibly incredibly low and that that's why I'm making this video because if you had a friend of yours who said you know what I'm gonna become a full-time lottery player I want to win the lottery you would say man you are out of your Viking mind that's what you would say you would say man you're out of your mind that's just stupidity that's what would would be said now, the, the situation is this, the situation is this, if you want to become a VIP Rolex preferential customer, meaning you want to be a customer who, you want a Pepsi, they'll get a Pepsi for you, you want a, um, a Batgirl, Batman, they'll get it for you. You want a Sermit, you want a Sabi, they'll get the stuff you want. If you want to be that customer, there's some, the awful truth is that you need to have a track record with that AD. How much do you need to spend? Well, that's a good question. You need to have spent, you need to have a, a total spend, and it's all to do with, you could say, well, how many years do you 
do you include your spend in this number? And I, I am sorry to say this to you, but it's the maximum would be three to five years. After five years, it kind of drops off. It doesn't count anymore. Uh, it's kind of like tax records, you know? How many years do you need to keep uh, the records for? And uh, that's always a good thing. How many years do you need to keep them for in case you get audited? Five to seven years, they say. So, you know, just, just, just be aware. This is the reality is there. So, and it's also, you couldn't have just had five years ago, you spent this, this mystery number and then never bought anything and then expect to, you've got to ha keep this relationship lubricated. You've got to have bought things always, always buying things. Now, okay, I want to talk about the numbers because they don't actually put this out there. They don't actually, there is no official guide. I'm making, this is the, uh, this is becoming the official guide. The awful truth. How much do you need to spend to be a preferential customer? How much? What is this number? So I've said it, it's, it's your history for the last three to five years. And the number is one million dollars. The number is one million dollars. That's your spend. Okay, that needs to be what you have spent in the last three to five years. One million dollars. That's right, guys. One million dollars. And I've, I've actually confirmed this figure with a couple of um, people I know who have relationships. They haven't quite come out and said to me, you need this. I said, what have you spent? What have you bought? And the reality is you, you have got to, in the last three to five years, you, had, you have to have spent... Um, You've got to have a relationship where you're continually buying. Five hundred thousand to a million, a million five. Okay, that's that's the kind of numbers you need to to hit there, and that doesn't make you a B B B B V I P. No, 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 no. This just makes you an okay customer. See, this is this is the whole thing here, guys. There are some really rich people out there, and uh, if you need to, if you need to make a living by working, <laughs> it's going to be a bit hard. So, guys, you might say one million dollar spend. Ooh, that's a lot. And what you find is these people who have this relationship with the ADs, they are all, whether they admit it or not, flippers. They mini flippers, okay? Mini flippers. And and let, let me explain to you. They're mini flippers. They're mini flippers. And and they will try and package it as part of their friendship. They'll say to you, Oh, look. I'll give you a classic example. I had a friend who's got an AD relationship. He said, "Hey Arch, do 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 you wanna do you wanna shoot a black bay?" And the reason for that is he wants to keep the numbers going. He wants the numbers churning. And I said, "Yeah, yeah." He said he gets a discount on Tudor. not a great discount, but he does get a discount which a normal person would never get. Well, if, if they did get, it wouldn't be to the same level that he can get. And it, it's easy. He just goes there. Don't, I don't have to haggle. Or he just says, okay, I can get it for this, this, this. Very, very business-like. Okay, easy transaction. Yeah, I'll take it. And the reason these friends want you to buy this tutor is so they can keep their spend up. They want to keep... New spend, 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 spend. So a lot of these guys who are v VIP customers, 
There are also mini distribution points because they got to keep the spend happening. So it's it's not really feasible that that somebody let let's be totally honest here. If you're earning good money, say what what's good money? Two hundred and fifty thousand a year, three hundred thousand a year. And you're a role in your collector. You really can't just keep all this shit. You have to flip it because it ties up so much of your capital. And this is the whole thing. A lot of these people who are VIPs with the AD, of course they're flippers. They're flippers. They're flippers. They're flippers. And Obviously, you know, obviously they're not going to let, they're not, I mean, I, I know quite a few of these people. They're not going to give you a Pepsi at retail. No, 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 no. Well, well you, you can't blame them because they've had to buy other shit to get that Pepsi. That's kind of the payoff. So they're well and truly aware what this thing has cost them. Besides the loss of dignity, Besides the um, buying garbage, it's they they know the cost. It ties up a lot of their capital. So these, if you want a good relationship with an AD, most of these people would be going to a multi AD. We're not talking single. Well. The problem is this, see, you really can't establish that even with a million dollar spend, you really can't do that anymore at a sole Rolex AD because, because a boutique, a Rolex boutique, because everything they have is wanted. You can sell it. To get this relationship, if you want to say if you if you were sensible enough and say okay i'd like a, 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 a relationship with the ad these are the numbers you've got to realize one million dollar spend okay one million dollar spend okay one million dollar spend in the last three to five years not in one you, you've got to have done that continually buying that's what's needed so if you think if you're a middle class guy and thinking you know what I'll buy a tutor I'll buy this I'll buy that buy a few things and then I'll get a Pepsi you are a delusional fantasist now some people do get the good stuff. This is the whole thing. This rule is not 100% set in concrete. But what I'm trying to give you here is the parameters because it's all very well. Yes, somebody went there and they got something at retail. Okay, that's fine. Try doing it now. Try doing it now. And... These are the numbers. You need to have spent a million. Now, see, the problem is most people, not only can they not spend a million dollars, they're not even worth a million dollars. They have nowhere near the income, okay? They have nowhere near the income to feed that type of consumption. And <clears throat> where it's dirty is that somebody might go into a an authorized dealer and they might buy say a brightling <clears throat> on the hope they can go on the list for a steel sports rolex and tomorrow never comes so if that's the case you've got to know the truth there's always going to be stories where so and so just walked in and got it. Yes, that 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 is that's not false, that is true. Okay, there's always going to be 
stories like that. That that's that's correct. However, however, I gotta tell you. However, they're few and far between. Few and far between. So. The reason I'm making this video is so people aren't delusional in thinking they can just ponce in there, walk in there, pick up the hard to get stuff and, oh, that's fantastic. Let's set up a, these are the awful rules. You want to be a good customer through an AD, million dollar spend in the last three to five years. One million dollars. Okay. One million dollars. Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's expensive. One million dollars. Most people aren't worth a million dollars, yet alone are going to spend it on not so great watches to get to that point. So, guys, that's the number. And yes, people can walk in any day. There are stories. People walk in just like they go to their local gas station. They buy a lottery ticket and they win Powerball. Yeah, that, that, that's, that, that does happen. But the odds are about the same. They're about the same. They are the same. Same odds. So, guys, the reason I'm telling you this is not to... Be a dream stealer. I don't want to be a dream stealer. The reason I'm making this video here is to tell the customers fair perimeters. Because if you don't know this, it's like going into an... If, if you know the situation, well, fair enough. But if you, if you don't know the game... How can you play the game if you don't know the rules, okay? It's like you want to play blackjack at the casino, 21. Well, guess what? If you don't know the rules, you've got no hope. If you understand it and think, okay, so that's, that's how it works. You've got, a, you've got a certain play. There's a certain play for certain cards that the dealer's got. You've got a certain play. This has been mathematically calculated over the years. And that's the same with the dealers. If you go in there thinking, you know what, I'm going to establish a relationship, you are a delusional fantasist. So I want to make this video. Now, some people do have a relationship and have gotten stock. Yes, that's the old rules. You know, in the Bible, you've got the New Testament and you've got the Old Testament. That's Old Testament. The rules are different now. We are in 2022. Rolex, a lot of these watches are now an asset class. The rules are different. What worked before won't work now. So, Guys, I'm making this video so you know what the spend is required. Guys, I'm Archie Luxury. Please like, subscribe, and tell your friends. And I will see you in the next one. See you later, guys.